Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can draw isometric view by using some tools as you're seeing the screen. We have a T-square here, it's already set on a drawing board and we're gonna draw the sketch on an A4 sheet. If you don't have a T-square still, you can use a ruler with proper alignment. So this is the T-square, you can move it this way and we have a set square in order to draw the isometry. So we have different types of set square as now I'm using a 30 degree, 60 degree set square. So similarly we have another one. Here you can see this one is a 45 degree both side and 90 degree over here. So we are not going to use this thing especially for drawing isometric drawings. We're going to use only this 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree set square. So let's begin. So if you look into the sketch here, you can see there is only three types of lines available on isometry. If you take any isometric joint, there is only three types of line. So you have to identify a line and which category it belongs to. Then it's a piece of cake for you to draw any sketch in isometry. So let's see if you see these lines, all these vertical lines all these vertical lines are parallel to each other you can find plenty of vertical lines here similarly if you take uh, this line which align towards your right similarly you have many lines aligned in that direction so we have two types and the third type here you can see these lines are aligned towards your left so if you take any line, it is either aligned towards your left or towards your right and some other lines which align vertically. So there is only three types of line. Now get back to the drawing board where you can easily make these sketches. So to begin with this, to make it easier, first you can draw a baseline is better on the middle of your A4 sheet so the visibility will be nice and then mark a point so this is your base point and on that base point I'm gonna mark 30 degree angle towards my left and towards my right so for this set square you know that this is 30 degree so I'm gonna hold my ruler like this so it is passing through the point I can easily mark a 30 degree line in this direction so that's pretty much easier and to flip it if you flip like this you can easily mark the other 30 degree angle so this is how you can manipulate 30 degree line as per your wish so here you can see if you move the set square you can draw 30 degree anywhere that you want and now, once you mark your 30 degree angles both sides, then you can start sketching the isometric drawing. Come back to the question. Here we are going to start our sketch from this point. So if you start from that point, you can see in this direction, we're going to move 10. So then this height, this height, from uh, the geometry you can find the total here is 15 so this will be 5 and then in this direction we're gonna move 20 plus 10 which is in total 30 so let's draw this thing first so in this uh, exercise I'm gonna use sketch pens rather than a pencil so that you will get a good visibility but when you exercise drawing especially engineering drawing you must use appropriate pencil as per the question everything towards your right should be along with this line so we already have a baseline here also I can easily mark this uh, 10 millimeters over here so you can see 10 millimeter is nothing but one centimeter so let mark there and then uh, there is a vertical line at a distance uh, 5 millimeter so I can orient like this whenever I want vertical line so this is 5 and now the remaining 30 I'm gonna use the set square again 
and you can align like this and here for some of the set square you will not uh, get the marking on this side you only have marking on this side so what I'm going to do align this and just draw a small line and then I'll use the opposite side to precisely measure it so what we want we want 30 so one two three so easy as that you can mark 30 like this so we are done with that now return back to the question now we need to draw this line so what about the length of that line if you don't know you have to focus on that so here this is 10 and this is 15 so 10 plus 15 it is nothing but 25 so now we can take uh, the set square and we can mark 25 align this you can easily mark 25 so 1 2 2.5 comes here so that's it so this line is 25 and return back to the sketch now from here maybe we can draw the top or maybe we can move towards the left I would like to move towards the left this line it is obvious it is 25 and uh, this line if you know if you calculate 10 plus 5 it will be 15 so I'm gonna draw those two lines so this line should be 15 so 1 1.5 1.5 centimeter that is 15 millimeters and then in this direction as now you have to flip it this direction is easy to mark because we have the marking over this edge we have to move 25 so this will be 1 2 2.5 25 millimeters we're done with that now we continue with the remaining lines if you go back to the sketch what we need to draw is we have to draw this line and uh, this line so for this line it is given it is 15 and this line you can calculate that is uh, 20 plus 10 you can see it from there so this will be uh, 30 so let me mark 30 in this direction it and uh, we can make it 30 that's it and then we have another line at a height uh, 15 the lines are little thick because I am using a sketch pen you will get proper sketch if you use a pencil 15 and now it's easy we can simply join these two edges to finish that off we're done with that and then the remaining portion if you return back to the sketch if you don't if you want to draw this this is 15 from here you can find it and similarly these lines are the same distance 15 so let me draw that I'm gonna mark 15 all over so it is 15 similarly this one is 15 and this also and then we can join these sides together and go for the perpendicular you can join these line as well so we are done with that side and now you can come over here you can see all this line on the back side all over 15 plus 25 which is 40 and this line also 
we know that it is 40 it is readily given so let me draw that one first so from here I'm gonna go 40 so I'll mark a small line and let's see yes this is 1 2 3 4 40 okay then this direction flip it always you have to have a good control over the t square or with your ruler and the set squares so mark a small line and you can precisely mark one two three four that's it now we are done up to that then return back to the question we're going to draw the remaining line this line which is 15 which is available and uh, this line you know that it is 25 you can catch it from this side and down there this one it is 10 which is given here so let me go for that first thing we're gonna draw this line this line is 25 so let it be arrange it well 1 to 2.5 so it is 25 and we have a perpendicular here which is 15 so you can see it clearly this is 1.5 which is 15 and uh, back to the question you can simply join this line this distance is 30 just opposite to this side so that distance is 30 or you don't need to measure anything here really you can simply join this similarly you can join these two edges as well so we are almost done with the sketch now return back to the question the remaining portion is this back side over here to draw that back side you should be a little careful so here we have to draw these two lines so how we can draw that here uh, the distance from this edge which is given 10 and uh, this is 5 so what I am going to do let me use a pencil to mark uh, a construction line so I am gonna mark uh, 10 from this side I am gonna mark 10 comes around this and then I'll draw a parallel line through that uh, construction line so now we have an idea where that 10 comes and make sure this one is 15 yes this is 15 and now what we're gonna do come back to the question you can see uh, this distance is 10 so now I can use my set square and precisely mark 10 millimeters that's it now once you are there you can easily join this tip with your construction line and now this distance it is given 5 millimeters so it's a very small slit so 5 millimeters and now you can easily join these tips that's it you are done and the last thing we have a small corner if you check the question and focus here we have a small corner that comes there so to get that small corner you have to simply join with a inclined line so you can use this in this direction it will go inside so it will be like this so simply join those two corner you are done so this is how you can create a orthographic drawing without any trouble just use a 30 degree set square move this way or flip it 
in this direction and the last one is the perpendicular line just go for this three orientation you can easily finish your sketch